There were two sources of mine who sent me the actual letter that the union's executive board sent out tonight to all 13,000 of its members, saying that they had asked Ed Mullins to step down and resign. Well, tonight, Ed Mullins did just that. He did resign. The letter also making clear that it is Mullins who apparently is the target of a federal investigation, not the union. FBI agents seizing boxes of possible evidence from the union headquarters of the Sergeant's Benevolent Association in Lower Manhattan. It was one of two raids carried out by the FBI. The second was at the Long Island home of longtime union boss Ed Mullins. The union represents about 13,000 current and retired sergeants with the NYPD and controls a $260 million retirement fund. The FBI and a law enforcement source saying the raid are in connection with an ongoing federal investigation, but have not given any specific details. Attorney Doug Burns is a former federal prosecutor. So I'm theorizing and guessing uh, that based on what I'm seeing is that they are looking into some type of financial impropriety. A search warrant, instead of simply subpoenaing materials, um, tells you that it's at a little harsher level and law enforcement's concerned possibly um, that materials um, could vanish. For years, Mullins has been an outspoken, controversial union president. He has repeatedly publicly clashed with Mayor de Blasio, current and former NYPD leadership, as well as other city officials about police policies. Mullins is currently in the middle of a department disciplinary proceeding for tweeting the arrest report of the mayor's daughter from a George Floyd demonstration. Prices. Mayor de Blasio was asked about the raids at his daily briefing. I think he's been a divisive voice. But that doesn't cause me to feel anything in this situation because I don't know what's happening. I, all I hear is an FBI raid. I don't know the specifics. I don't know who it's directed at. Uh, I, I want to really hear the details before I comment further. And of course, several times today, we reached out to both Ed Mullins and his lawyer, but so far we have not heard back.